Hello! Hi! So, we are here to give you guys your video on your grocery list for the cleanse, um, what your must-buys are, and then also to kind of prepare you a couple days before uh, Monday when uh, the cleanse starts. Mm -hmm. So, if you have already received your cleanse kit, you will have gotten this in your kit. It's basically like your how-to guide for the Purify Cleanse. If you haven't received it yet, you will be getting it shortly. Um, this will answer any questions that you may have as far as food, as far as exercise goes, yep. all things like that. But we wanted to give you our kind of how-to guide and things that we're planning on doing and things that we're planning on buying. So, we prepared our little must buy list of things yes. to get at Whole Foods or Trader Joe's or your farmer's market. So there's a page inside um, and I'll just kind of zoom in on it. So if you turn to this page it tells you basically what to buy um, or what to eat, what not to eat, how to exercise, all that stuff. So those answers are there if you're ever not sure. Um, but our list of must buys one is going to be water if you aren't drinking just from your faucet or wherever it work. Um, buy a box of bottled water and carry it around with you. You'll want to have like two liters of water a day. Um, lemons, uh, onions and garlic. <laughs> You'll want to have either salt free or blend or fresh herbs to season your food so rather than using salt all the time. Um, that'll really cut out a lot of like bloat and water retention and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, um, let's see, fresh organic veggies and fruits, go to Whole Foods, Trader Joe's and just yeah. go free reign in there, grab everything that you like, try new things if you want to, um, you know, berries, anything ending with berries, tons of anti antioxidants, so good for you, strawberries, blackberries, raspberries, blueberries, these are also great in your shakes, which we will be talking about in yes. a little bit. So we've got the frozen ones too, um, especially for your shakes. Yeah, frozen berries. Uh, organic dark leafy greens, you'll want to also add those to your shakes and then also for your balanced meals. Um, for your grains, brown rice and quinoa. Pick those up, you will want them for your balanced meal. Mm -hmm. uh, flax meal is great for your smoothies. Um, and then raw nuts, beans, and lentils. Uh, for the beans and lentils, we'll find them hard, and they'll be in a... <laughs> those are our our dogs. dogs are going crazy. <laughs> um, they'll be in a package, and they'll be like hard beans or lentils. You want those rather than the ones in the can, um, because you'll soak them overnight, and uh, they'll be more digestible, and they're more enzymes and all those good things. We'll mm -hmm. talk about that later. Yes. Um, so what else do we have going on? Oh, um, so for your lean proteins for during your sensible meal, um, you'll want things like chicken, turkey, fish, um, eggs. Eggs are great. It doesn't have to just be for breakfast. Um, if you want to cut out a little bit of the fat and calories, just go for an egg white. Yeah. You can mix this up with your um, dark leafy greens, other vegetables with a little bit of olive oil, and have it with your brown rice or quinoa, and there you go. Um, perfect little sensible meal right there. Yes. So do you want to talk about um, how to organize your plate? Yes. So if you have your plate and you look at it as kind of a pie chart, you want half the plate to be your vegetables, whether they be raw or cooked, um, methods being steamed vegetables, um, doing more of like a water saute or using a little bit of oil to do that. And I know, Jen, with your experience with the cleanse last time, you felt that it was better off for you to cook your veggies. Yeah, I started out with a lot of salads and found that it made me really bloated and uncomfortable. And so once I started to saute or lightly steam all my vegetables, um, I could digest them a lot easier. So if you find that happens to you, try cooking them. It might help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, experiment with yourself. Um, it's you know this is all completely individual. So what's happening for one person may be not happening for another. So you really have to experiment with your own body. Um, and the detox oil that you got in your kit can also be used as a little bit of a salad dressing. Yes. Yeah. Don't cook it. Um, yeah, don't keep heat it, it. Yeah. Keep it fresh uh, the way that it came. But you can always put it over your greens or whatever. It's like a dressing. You could add vinegar or mustard or mm -hmm. whatever you want to make your own dressing out of it. So that's a fun little tidbit. Yes. Okay, so we're going to go over real quick what you do want to avoid during the cleanse because um, you are trying to kind of detox your body and cleanse your body of normal kind of crap that you're putting in it. <laughs> um, so the list is kind of long, but listen up. So dairy, no dairy for a week. Don't do it. Sugar, 
caffeine. I'm sorry, there's no coffee in this cleanse. And um, you'll when thank us later. When it's over, you might be really excited to find that you don't need coffee or want coffee anymore. Yes, very true. Soda, which I don't know if many of you are soda drinkers anyway. Um, alcohol, I'm so sorry, you winos. <laughs> Not this week. Uh, processed food. Mm-hmm. Processed food. You all know there's so many preservatives in there. Lots of salt. Yes. Other chemicals. We have no idea what they're doing in there. Right. Um, fast food, obviously. Excess salt. Really use those herbs and herbal blends to kind of get the taste back into the mm -hmm. food. Um, do you say white refined products already? No. Like, um, bread, um, white pasta, um, white rice. Even the whole wheat pastas I would still cut out because those still have gluten in it and we really want to stay clear of that. So mm -hmm. really look for the whole grains like the brown rice and quinoa. Yes. Um, so fried foods, I think we mentioned that. Uh, fatty cuts of meat and um, butter, cheese, none of that. So keep all those things clear out of the diet that um, you're going to have during your cleanse. So we can start to find out from process of elimination mm -hmm. um, what works for your body and what doesn't. And then after the cleanse, when you start bringing them back in, you'll know um, if something's funky. Yeah, yeah. So let's go over a little bit more about the shake since that's going to be the majority of what we're eating each day yes. or drinking. Um, so for do you want to talk about the quick shake? Yeah, so the quick shake for what I normally do since I'm always running out the door in the morning um, I will just do a little bit of almond milk or water with some ice. Um, what I'm probably going to be doing is adding some frozen fruit to it so I don't need to add ice. And then my Achieve Shake Mix and just mix that up in a blender and I'll be good to go. It's also mm -hmm. very simple to just add a banana or some strawberries to it. Um, but Jen gets a little bit more yeah. fancy with it. So before so. the fancy stuff, I'm just going to tell you about the super quick shake. Um, and that's if you don't even have the ability to add ice and, you know, berries or anything. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just mixing two scoops of your cheese powder with um, about 8 to 10 ounces of either water, coconut water, or almond milk, or some sort of nut milk. Stay clear of the dairy once again. Um, mm -hmm. Shake it up and shake it vigorously because you will get some clumps in your shake if you don't. And they're not the most pleasant things to be chewing on in the morning. Yeah. So um, really shake it up. And then pair that with like a piece or two of fruit um, or a little handful of nuts and a piece of fruit uh, to kind of make it a more balanced meal. Mm -hmm. And you'll be good with that. Um, for the fancier shakes, which are my specialty, um, <laughs> so you first you choose a base. And your base is going to be either water, coconut water, or some sort of nut milk. I use almond milk and water mixed sometimes. Mm -hmm. so, um, so you'll just only want to fill up like a little, a little bit of it. And then you can always add in more if it starts to get too thick. Um, so then after you add your base, you add in your two scoops of your cheat powder. And then you'll add in your frozen fruit. So frozen organic fruit, I usually do blueberries. Try and make it berries if you can. Um, I'll throw in some greens, so usually spinach, just a handful of spinach. And then I go with uh, extra fats because I, it keeps me full. So I either do flax meal or some sort of nuts or nut butter. Just throw a little bit in there. I try not to do more than a tablespoon of any sort of fat. Um, and then I like to mix it up even more, thanks to David Wolf, <laughs> who's like the raw food genius. Mm -hmm. um, I throw in some raw cacao, which is like um, the raw state of chocolate. And then maca powder. And then I'll throw in some chia seeds as well. And um, sometimes coconut flakes. And so I mix it all up together. Um, you can buy all of those weird things I mentioned at Whole Foods. <laughs> um, so if you're not sure, just let us know, and we will also be posting a list of what your grocery list is, and then some ideas on shakes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if weight loss is not your goal, what Jen mentioned is perfect for you, because these are all nutrient-dense calories that are going to be added to your shake, so don't worry about it being too much if weight loss is not your goal. If it is, you might want not want to add too much nut butter yeah. and things like that, but go for the flax seed, go for the chia seeds, and a little bit of the extra fruit in there. Yeah, the, they really will keep you fuller longer if you're able to make a, sh a shake, like a fuller shake in the morning, and you mm -hmm. can blend it. I use the Magic Bullet. Those things are, like, absolutely 
incredible. Um, but if you don't have that, then you can just use a blender or um, or just do a quick shake if you just don't have any of those things around. Yeah, you just need to shake it up in a bottle. Sometimes they have the blender bottles that have the little um, wire balls that break yeah. everything up in it. But just a simple shake and you should be good to go. Yeah. Um, Anything else? I think we pretty much covered everything, but as far as snacks go, yes. we listed everything um, for your grocery list, but that's just going to be very clean, whole foods, close to nature, fruits and veggies, mm -hmm. um, homemade dips like hummus if you want that, um, mm -hmm. guacamole or nut butters if you want to have like apples and almond butter, um, broccoli, carrots, yep. and peppers with hummus. Um, nuts and then we both really love Lara bars yes because they're fruit and nut based and we'll have maybe some coconut or some um, fresh dates uh, or... dates and dried fruit things like that in yeah. them so they're very natural very um, you know not processed or anything like that we froze again we're gonna keep talking really quick um, we're just about done it's not going Okay. okay, here we yeah. are. We froze for a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah, so the main thing really is just going to be keep drinking water. Mm -hmm. um, definitely get those uh, two liters of water in every day. That's going to be huge. You'll notice a huge difference whether you're drinking water or not. Yeah, and add lemon to your water. Lemon is a natural detoxifier, a liver cleanser. Yes. Um, so the more you do that, the better. Um, if you want something more like a tea at night, you can do hot water with lemon or even get your own herbal tea, but make sure it's decaffeinated. Yes. Oh, and also on the list, buy ginger. Ginger. Sorry, I forgot about that one. Yes. Okay, so I think that's it, right? Yeah, I think we're good. And make sure that when you go to our page, know that it's private, and we invite you to be completely open with things and share and ask questions because that is what we're here for. And there's right now 18 people participating in the cleanse. Mm -hmm. So you have people just like yourself that are doing this with you, and they want to share their experience. So be open and have fun with it. You know, I know I'll be talking scared about of. my weird bodily Me too. I'm kind of excited to see what happens. I am. But, you know. Our um, house is going to be interesting for the yeah. next week. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So we'll be updating videos each day, talking about everything. Yeah. We're going to definitely make an effort to be on there multiple times a day yes so we're here for you and be there for each other as well so um we'll see you all soon bye, bye.